Before installing this mount, please make sure you read the manual thoroughly. Tool check. To install this product, you will need an electric drill, a 7 seconds inch drill bit for wood stud installations, or a 3 8 inch masonry drill bit for concrete installations, a half inch wrench or socket, a Phillips screwdriver, a level, a tape measure or ruler, a pencil, a hammer, and an electronic stud finder. It's also a good idea to have an awl or small nail to verify stud locations. Parts check. Check carefully to make sure there are no missing or damaged parts. Depending on your installation, you may not need every part provided. If any parts are missing or damaged, contact customer service by calling 1-800-359-5520 to have the part sent directly to you. Step 1. Attach the TV brackets to the back of your TV. First, determine the screw diameter your television requires. Hand thread a screw into the insert on the back of the TV. If you encounter any resistance, stop and select another screw diameter until you have the correct size. The long screws should only be used with spacers, or they could crack the TV case or damage your TV's internal components. For TVs with a flat back, proceed to step 1-1. If you have a TV with an irregular back, or you need extra space to accommodate cables, recesses, or protrusions, proceed to step 1-2 and 1-3. The following steps only outline standard configurations. If you have a special application, contact customer service at 1-800-359-5520. Step 1-1. Attach the TV brackets to a TV with a flat or unobstructed back. Position the TV brackets on the back of the TV and ensure they are level. Thread the short bolt through the appropriate flat washer followed by the TV bracket and finally into the TV. Tighten the bolt with a Phillips screwdriver. Step 1-2 and 1-3. Attach the TV brackets to a TV with an irregular or obstructed back. First, determine which spacer size your installation requires. Then, push the shoulder washer through the TV bracket opening and snap the washer into the spacer. Position the TV brackets on the back of the TV and ensure they are level. Thread the long bolt through the appropriate flat washer into the TV bracket, followed by the shoulder washer and spacer, and finally into the TV. Tighten the bolt with a Phillips screwdriver. Step 2. Attach the wall plate to the wall. For help determining the proper height to install your mount, visit the Sanus website at www.sanus.com and locate the Height Finder tool on the left side of the home page. Simply enter your TV and mount information, and Height Finder will calculate the optimum location to install your mount. If you are installing your mount on a wall with wood studs, proceed to Step 2-1. For installations on a concrete wall, proceed to Step 2-2. Step 2-1. Attach the wall plate to a wall with wood studs. Please note, for safe installation, the wood stud size must be 2 by 4 inches or larger, and any drywall or other wall covering material may not exceed 5 eighths of an inch in thickness. Use an electronic stud finder to locate and mark a stud. At this time, it's a good idea to verify the stud location with an awl or thin nail. Taking into consideration the overall size of your television, hold the wall plate against the wall to verify the correct height for your mount. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall before marking the two hole locations with a pencil. After you have marked the hole locations, use the 7 seconds inch drill bit to drill the two hole locations to a depth of 3 inches. Attach the wall plate using the two lag bolts and lag bolt washers. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall. Tighten the bolts with a socket wrench. Do not over tighten the bolts. Step 2-2. Attach the wall plate to a concrete wall. Please note, for safe installation, the solid concrete thickness must be 8 inches or more, and the concrete block size must be 8 by 8 by 16 inches or larger. Ensure to mount the wall plate directly onto the concrete surface, and never drill into the mortar between blocks. 
taking into consideration the overall size of your television, hold the wall plate against the wall to verify the correct height for your mount. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall before marking the two hole locations with a pencil. After you have marked the hole locations, use the 3 8 inch masonry drill bit to drill the two hole locations to a depth of 3 inches. Using a hammer, gently tap a lag bolt anchor into each of the two holes. Attach the wall plate using the two lag bolts and lag bolt washers. Tighten the bolts with the socket wrench. Do not over tighten the bolts. Step 3. Attach the TV to the wall plate. Please note, before proceeding, verify the wall plate and TV brackets are firmly fixed to the wall and the back of the television, respectively. With the help of an assistant, lift the TV and attach the TV brackets to the wall plate. An audible click verifies the parts are correctly connected. Step 4. Adjust the up and down tilt tension. To adjust the up and down tilt tension, tighten or loosen the knob on the TV bracket until you reach your desired up and down tension. Step 5. Route the TV cables behind the TV. Pull down on the quick release tabs. Grasp the bottom of your TV and gently pull it away from the wall. When the TV is pulled out far enough, the kickstands will automatically fall into place. Route your TV cables behind the TV, leaving enough slack to prevent stretching when the TV is tilted up or down. Do not run cables through a pinch point. Hold the bottom of your TV and push the kickstands up. Gently place the TV against the wall. The kickstands will automatically return to their resting position. You are now ready to enjoy your newly mounted flat panel television. Thank you for your interest in this Sanus Vision Mount Flat Panel TV Wall Mount. If you have any problems with this product or have questions about installation, please do not return it to the store. Instead, contact customer service at 1-800-359-5520.